Yeah, I mean, it's been that way here for, for a while now, but, uh, you know, I thought we played a good game start to finish. We battled. We uh, stuck with it. We came back, scored a late goal. Um, you know, credit to their goaltender. He played really good. He made some unbelievable saves where we had some open nets and, uh, you know, we outshot them tonight and uh, outchanced them for sure. So, you know, we take our point and move on. No, you know, Sam Carrick has been playing really, really well for you guys, especially over the past, you know, 20 or so games. Uh, I mean, what's really clicked for him? Because it kind of started pretty slow. So what have you seen that's started to work for him? Uh, you know, I can't pinpoint it really. I just think he uh, got off to a sluggish start this year. Um, you know, things weren't going his way. I think he got in better shape as the year went on. He felt more comfortable. Um, you know, I, I think that's part of it. And, uh, you know, I just he just found his stride and got some confidence and then was playing with some uh, some line mates that he got going with. He was playing with Mash and Bonner for a while, and they were playing it really well. And now he's with Mash and, and uh, Abbott. So, yeah, he's playing at a high level for sure. And, uh, they, the Wolves get the, the penalty shot. Uh, Wade Megan takes it, one of the league's leading goal scorers. What do you say to a, your goaltender, you know, when he's facing down the one-on-one -on -one, uh, shot like that? Well, you don't talk to him at all. He's on the ice, but you just hope he makes a save. And, uh, you know, it's Megan. He's a great player for sure, and that was a big save for us. And then... You know, the overtime struggles, you know, they're not really anything new. What do you, what's kind of the key to getting things going in the overtime? I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, you know, it's three games in a row within the first two minutes of overtime. I mean, Lars makes the save. The puck goes high in the air, lands on the goal line and goes in. I mean, like the goals teams are scoring against us. You couldn't even write them up in a book on worst case scenario and how to lose in overtime. So. Uh, you know, the hockey guards are not taking care of us right now for whatever reason, and uh, we got to have to stay with it and uh, take that point. And, you know, we're playing against Milwaukee and Chicago the last three games, two of the best teams in the league, and, you know, we're, we're dead even with them. We're out shooting them every game, and uh, we're tied after 60 minutes. So, uh, you know, I was just hoping we get to the shootout tonight because I think we can have some success in the shootout if we can ever get there.